Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the sixth tutorial of my introduction to JavaScript series. For inside this tutorial, we're going to discuss about conditionals. But before we continue, I would quickly like to tell you, see, if you never subscribe to my YouTube channel, kindly use this opportunity to do so because your subscription are waiting to give me ginger and motivation to make videos like this. So wait to be conditionals. Conditionals now, the execution of something based on the outcome of something. I know say this definition, they a little ambiguous, but don't just worry yourself too much. This definition, it they very purposeful because see, I want to make you get enough understanding of within conditional just be. Well, you go understand this definition well in just few seconds if I give you an example of waiting I need. Now, the first example we are going to give, we say, you know, say we get different times of the day. We we'll say if we day morning, we go greet somebody good morning. If we day afternoon, we go greet somebody good afternoon. And if we day evening, we go greet somebody good evening. Now, it gets some conditions where they determine whether na morning we day, na afternoon we day, or na evening we day. These conditions na time of the day. Say for example, anytime we day below 12 p.m., then you know say na morning be that. Anytime we day between 12 p.m. and 4 p.m., then you feel just greet somebody say good afternoon. Then anytime we day between 5 p.m. till late in the night, if you just greet somebody say good evening. I know say accuracy no day for inside this time of the day where they take explain so, but just have an understanding of what they try to explain because we know they do time accuracy for inside this tutorial. So, but the idea of waiting at the try to explain, we say before twelve o'clock we go greet people good morning, between twelve o'clock and four o'clock p.m. we go greet people good afternoon, and after like five o'clock till late in the night we go greet people good evening. So this explanation we are done give so you go see say our greeting. How will they take greet people? Now something where they dependent on the condition of the day. Now exactly waiting just day there for inside conditional statement for inside programming be that. So now I will just give a practical explanation of the definition where I don't give so. And what I go do be say I go just declare a particular time of the day. So I go just talk say let time of the day be equal to 12. Here you go. So I just use midday, take represent the time of the day now. Now, if the time of the day is equal to 12, then you already know saying I have to know we did like this. So now to write our conditional statement to take Greek people say good afternoon. Now if we say we could just talk, say if okay, before I even can write the conditional statement, I could quickly like tell you say, I could quickly like give you the syntax way, then they take the right conditional statement for inside JavaScript. Now, if you want to write conditional statement for inside JavaScript, it always starts with if. Now, if you write the if statement, so you go come get the open and close parenthesis. Now, inside this open and close parenthesis, now where we go come write the condition there. So I will just put condition here. So after we don't write the condition, then we go come out inside that open and close parenthesis. Then we go give another open and close curly braces now. Now, inside this open and close curly braces, now where we will come write what thing will happen if this condition don't execute finish. Sure you get. Now make I quickly use this opportunity again. Remind you of the first explanation where I give you say conditional statement now the execution of something based on the outcome of something. Sure you get. Now in few seconds now you go can have enough understanding of this explanation. So now I will just clear this one come out now. I will can write our conditional statement properly. So I will just talk say if then open our Parenthesis to say time of the day. Now, if time of the day is equal to is equal to 12. Now, what thing are they talk exactly beside the talk? Say if time of the day is the same thing as 12. I don't say we never do logical operator, but that one no mean at all. I want to make we do this condition at firstly before we go on do logical operator so that you go understand exactly how to use logical operator. Now, why I can't talk, say, okay, make I bring this conditional tutorial firstly before I can't do the logical operators. So now I go talk, say, okay, if time of the day is equal to is equal to 12, then waiting will happen if time of the day is equal to 12. Then I go open my open and close curly braces. Then I go talk, say, console.log. Then I go talk, say, good afternoon. Yes, yeah, subscribers. So if I run this program now, you don't already know exactly what thing will happen. Say, good afternoon, dear subscribers, go print out to our console. Here you get. So I go just press Control B now. Then I go come here, drag this thing up. Now you see, say you don't tell me, say good afternoon, dear subscribers. 
Because say, this condition where we give this program as it did like this, you don't execute. You don't execute as true condition before this program go free run. So you get. So the definition again say conditional statement now the execution of something based on the outcome of something. So you get. So this one don't execute now based on the outcome of this condition with the year. So you get. But now you go imagine say, but not the only 12 o'clock we go get as time of the day for every day now. Yes, that one true. Now, where other keywords can't come in for inside our condition, I'll be that. Say, what if we can't daytime way lesser than 12 o'clock? In that instance, we could just talk, say, as if time of the day is lesser than 12. If time of the day is lesser than 12, then waiting go happen. Then we could just talk, say, come here, open our open and close curly braces, then talk, say, console.log, then talk, say, good morning, dear subscribers. you see now so if i run this program now control b because he say he still they tell us say good afternoon dear subscribers why because say the time of the day is still 12 o'clock share you get now i will just change the time of the day now to be 11 o'clock so now i will just press control b now you see say the information where they print out for us now we don't change to good morning dear subscribers now because see the time of the day is now lesser than 12. But not the only good morning and good afternoon day for inside uh, our time of the day. Now, let us now assume, say, the time of the day is not equal to 12 and it's not lesser than 12. So you get, then what thing will happen is in that instance. Say, for example, now I can't put 13 here like this. Say military time. 13 just means 1 o'clock p.m. So you get. So in this instance now, if I run my program, say control B, you see, say nothing happened. Because see, the time of the day is not equal to 12 and it's not lesser than 12. So you get the idea. So what thing will happen if this condition is not true? If any of these conditions where we don't give our program is not true? Because the time of the day is now 13. The first condition will be say it must be true before this execution will come run, before this block of code go run. It's not true. Now why say our program can't jump this one in the run now? The program will come check the second condition, say, okay, time of the day is lesser than 12. But the time of the day is not lesser than 12 in this instance. So the program no go run again. It go jump this line of the program because this condition no true. So what thing go happen in that instance? So whenever all of our condition is not executed, say they no day true. Say then day false because look at this condition now. Say time of the day is false, which is equal to twelve. It day false because our time of the day is not twelve. This one say time of the day is lesser than twelve. It day false because time of the day is not lesser than twelve. So whenever any of our conditions no true. Then waiting will happen. We won't come tell and say else. Then talk to console dot log. And we want to say good be. Maybe just greet and good be. So you get. So if I run my program now, control B, you go see say good day, don't they printed out. So basically, what did they happen for inside condition I be say we they use condition at to take give computer flexibility to decide or to choose between multiple options based on the outcome of our program. So overall, if you won't write any program, say you won't begin to do JavaScript proper proper now, say you won't write any program where you say you won't make computer execute a block of code based on the outcome of a condition. A little thing where I go quickly tell you, you say you feel have only if statement for inside your program. But you know if you have only as if statement or only else for inside your program. And I will quickly also like make I focus your attention on this thing. Say you can see say when I write my if statement, if statement gets condition with the inside open and close parenthesis. As if statement gets in your condition with the inside open and close parenthesis. But else no get any condition. Now what did they happen? We say if this one no true, if the condition with the inside this if no true, and the one with the inside as if no true. Then you go jump inside this else statement. Can't take run up for you. And again, another thing where I would like to talk before I can close this tutorial, we say this else if where you see here. So you feel have a multiple times. You feel have else if like two times, three times, any number of times. Sure, you get the idea. I hope say you understand the idea of this conditional statement. So, so as we say, we don't discuss conditional statement for inside this tutorial. 
Now, so it go be for inside this tutorial. I go see you for the next tutorial where we will come begin the discuss about switch cases.